Hey Soul Fam, what's up? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. Welcome back, welcome back. Alright, so this rising we're going to talk a little about. Um, as you see in the title, Fate versus Fear. Fate over fear. So, first thing I'm going to do is, um, you know, tell you what these terminologies mean. I'm going to define these terminologies, Fate and Fear. Because as simple as you see the terms, them, a lot of people don't truly understand what Fate is. And don't understand what living in Fate really is versus living in Fear. Now, fate is a higher vibrational state of being. You know, you live based upon the fact you trust the most high, which is the God force. And as much as you see the Christians preach a lot about fate, a lot of Christians don't have no faith at all. And I know personally, because I deal with a lot of Christian people. I don't have anything against Christians, you know. But I realize a lot of them don't really got much faith and all of them something. Because most Christians always need to have money to survive. And the moment they don't have no money, they start worry and fret you get what i say or pray to god to make god have send more money or some stuff and that is not real living in true faith because if you live in a true faith you can know that even when you have no money you can just trust so everything will be okay with or without money but when you go pray for money now say oh god please make me get money it means you can't really see yourself good without money so you fear broke you fear being broke so your fear of being broke make you live in a fear and you know, understand enough christians don't understand that you get what i say now, fear is like you just trusting something above you, knowing that, you know, same like if you trust your mother or your father, for provide for you growing up and all of that. That's you having faith, you know, having faith in your parents. Now, having faith in the divine is a totally different something now because you have to trust a, a, a source where you can't see. You have to trust a source that is, you, you know the source, you know, but you can't physically see the source like you can't see your mother and your father. So, Trusting the divine and the universe is weird, is a whole different ball game from just trusting having faith in your parents. You get what I say? Living in fear you now is a lower vibrational state of consciousness where everything, your whole life is governed by fear. Every action you make is governed based upon the fact that you're frightened for something. Your fear of losing, your fear of not having money make you go work. You get what I say? Your fear of being broke make you beg for money and all that. Your fear of being broke make you. Do a 9 to 5 that you don't want to do. You get what I say? So, you find the fear govern consciousness. Same like even Christians. A lot of Christians are governed by fear. A lot of religions are governed by fear. Because most of them just go into the religion and baptize just because they don't want to go to hell. So, fear of going to hell. You see what I show you? And then religions think that they have the right way. There is no right way in life if you are governed by fear. You know? When you are, when you are very fearful, you are a slave. You get what I say? You are not a free person if you are fearful. Now fear, living in faith, allows you to be, you know, a fearless person. That, that, that gives you freedom of self, being fearless, be, uh, um, living in faith. Because when you're living in faith, there is no space for fear. You get what I say? So even with the whole money thing, not having money and going about life teaches one, one faith. Enough time I have to go without money for very long times. And ever since I've on the spiritual path, I saw me get for the fear of being broke disappear. Because the fear of being broke is an ego driven type of thing. And while you're on spirituality, on the spiritual journey, you get to calm down the ego. You get to me, I say? So, and the ego is very fear based too. The ego is very fear based. So once you're living at the ego, which is the lower self, you're going to be very fearful. And once you're living at the higher self, you're going to be very faithful. You know? You're going to try that part of mostly faith. Because the universe tests you. There's a lot of times when I just my faith alone. Not even money in my account, no money in my pocket or nothing. And just my faith, my blind faith alone bring me through a lot of circumstances. But I know say, the average person couldn't take. Sometimes I wonder why certain things happen to me. But I just teach me who I am. It teach me a lot of faith. Now I can teach you no about faith. You can have blind faith and survive. A lot of times I have no money. Believe it. I know say, yes, one day I will have money and whatever, whatever. But while I depend on this whole part of self discovery and self-actualization and all of that, this whole spiritual journey. It teach me a lot of faith. It teach me say, oh, life can happen without money. It teach me say I can manifest money without even having money. It teach me say I can manifest stuff like monetary, physical stuff without having no money in my pocket. You don't need money for manifest now, you know? <laughs> when me in America, there's a lot of things like, I manifest so much, so many things. And while me in America, most of my spiritual journey, the basis, of, the basis of my spiritual journey and my spiritual growth happened in America. And now I'm in Jamaica. 
And a lot of things that me in America will show me who I am as a person. In a total different country. You know, I'm over there. This is my native country. And believe me, so I'm over America. I never really got no money. And believe me, say, a lot of things just are work out. Because me believe. believe. So say there's a higher power, power governing me. Even though me in a foreign land. You get to me? So that proved to me. The power of faith. Just blind faith. Just have some faith. Just believe so everything will be alright, man. Believe me, just believe so everything will be alright. Once you have that belief there, so everything will be okay and say so there's a force guiding and protecting you always. Believe me, man, you see miracles up me right in front of you, man. You don't need to have, have money, you know? I <laughs> tell you, boy, I'm going to go to a story time with all of them drama you have happened to me still, you know? Because maybe if I tell you some of the things, I don't even believe. The whole heap of faith, whole heap of breakthroughs I go through in my life just because of faith. So sometimes the money is not important man, just have faith man, even when you reach down to your last dollar, have some faith. And believe me, when you say faith move mountains, faith really move mountains, you know. Because no matter how the obstacle big, once you believe and not give in to the fear, not give in to no form of fear, and just believe. You know, that's why I'm a bit, that's why I'm a like, that's why I understand why I never have no money in them times. Like, because maybe if I have money, I would take a different part, I would maybe try to escape the circumstance or something. I buy up more to the circumstances, but when you don't have no money now and the only choice you have is faith. You know, the universe put me in a situation a lot of time when I have to just depend on my faith only. I eat alone, me have. I don't have no money, I don't have nobody to call upon. I just have faith in myself and the belief say yes, I'm going to try down and yes, I'm going to live on and yes, everything is going to be okay. That alone, just that mindset there. There's a mindset there of thinking positive, even though you see a lot of, you know. Tower moments happen, a lot of things are break down in your life, a lot of losses are going on. Just you having faith say yes, you know, me divinely guided and me protected and everything will be okay. Just that mindset, just that thought process alone will carry you through a lot of things, man. Will move mountains, literally move mountains from in front of your way. You get to me, I say, I have done this, you know. I forgot to create a story time in a different video and tell you about some of the drama, them, some of the things that will happen to me. Because a lot of people see me and Things say yes, life is easy for me. Life not really easy. May I tell you man, trading this spiritual path is one of the hardest things them any human being could have come upon. That's why still a lot of people don't do it. I have my subject, then I have my qualifications and whatever. I can apply for a job very easily. You know, I was a firefighter, but after when I get my spiritual calling, I leave my job, I quit it just to take on this whole life because I feel like this is more important. And this serves my purpose um, way more, you know. I'm more comfortable living like this. As messed up as Uno think it seem, because as messed up as it might seem to a lot of people, because a lot of people just couldn't fathom seeing um, living like this, you know. Even my parents, my parents really and truly not understand nothing about me, you know. They think me crazy because it's like, why not make money if you can make money, right? Well, why not earn money if you can earn money? Because we cannot make any money. We're not the mint. We're not the printing press for money and all them something there. So. Why not earn money if you can earn money? Because I realize that living a life of governed by faith, money will always come. Money comes from a lot of sources to me all the while. Unknown sources, unexpected sources, you know. So while I depend on this whole journey, I realize that I'm taken care of. I will always get everything what we need, you know. So sometimes in life when you see people that live a certain type of way, because they're greedy. And being on this spiritual path, I've taught me about being grateful and satisfying with what I have. So I don't need a lot to satisfy and feel good. Some people are just greedy. And believe me, most black people, most melanated people, not even just black people, most people around the world, if you check the levels, they are they are they have what they need for the most part every day. They have the, them basic necessities are, are met. But they're just greedy. So them things that they need more and more and more. And that is greed. They always just think they need more. So if you, if you can't have a satisfying mindset and know say yes, you're alright with rising up and seeing the sun. And giving thanks for the little things them in our life. They are very ungrateful and then you are very miserable and you are very greedy. And greed is a sin. I don't know if you know say greed is a sin. Yeah man, greed is a sin. So a lot of Christians out there will just pile up money. Pile money and stack up, stack up, stack up money for whatever reason. They don't understand so they have commit the biggest sin. Because that's greed, that's gluttony. You know? Once you understand man, we are, we are always given in life what? We need, always, always. The universe is not a universe of luck. We live in a universe of abundance. 
to always give in what we need. Once you believe that, once you know that and believe that, your, your needs will always be met. Believe it. Your needs will always be met once you believe that your needs will be met. We are always given everything that we need. We are always given exactly what we need, you know. You know, get, because the universe not dealing with waste either. So it now give you nothing we don't need. You get what I say? Which is why sometimes black people, she said them get them, their basic um, needs are being met, you know, but them still, just because them see other people have this and that, them want it too. And then I realize, eh, you know, you're a good man, satisfied with what you have. And if you forget more, you will eventually get more, you know, because you're always given what you need. So if the universe see need, see, see the need to give you certain things, I'll give you it. And if the universe don't see it fit, you can, you can pray from now till the morning or now till next year. You now will get what you pray for. Because if the universe don't see it fit for you, you're not going to get it. You know, and that's how manifestation works. You know, you get what you need. You get, you, you manifest based on your frequency. And what you need, what, you, what is required of you, what is required, uh, what is required to keep you alive and sustain you. You know, it's based by your frequency and vibration. And somehow we have vibe very low, so we really don't need no holy for nothing because we can't manage it. You know, with great wealth come great, comes great responsibility. A lot of us do not responsible what we want is holy for money and this and that. You know, I don't understand it. Peace out, one of the journey YouTube channel, I don't make this too long. That's about faith versus fear. So we are living in a faith going forward, alright?